All right, welcome to week two update of the mealworm, waxworms, and soupworms eating plastic and care video. As you see in this container, or is the waxworm container, there's one right there. There's one that's on its way out right there. Many of them have pupated. You see here, um, usually I have that screen lid on, on, the, on it um, so they don't, when they do turn into adults, they don't fly out when they turn them off. So there are the pupas in there. Um, which they have once again not eaten any plastic. Um, here's the mealworm uh, bin and they have made quite a little bit more progress on this polystyrene styrofoam and um, not eaten any of the plastic bottle or plastic bag. They have started to pupate quite a bit at the end of last week. Here are a bunch of them in pupa form and two of them turned into adults this morning um, giving them a little bit of food and a wet paper towel for the moisture. I'll give them a, a potato later on. The superworms are in this jar, and as you see, they've almost demolished this entire section that was that size uh, two weeks ago. And if you look closely at this sample of plastic bags, right here, there is a hole uh, next to that dark spot. There's a hole where they eat the plastic bag or poly, polyethylene. Um, and I have moved them into this container here where some of them are pre preparing to pupate. Um, the ones that are fully curled up like this are preparing to pupate. There's one, there's one, there's three right there, four, five, and um, so they're getting ready to turn to pupas and then they'll turn to adults and then I will get a colony going on. So if you have any requests or questions or comments, please do that, like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, we'll keep you updated, um, we'll probably make a video again next week, hopefully the superworms have pupated and uh, hopefully some of the mealworms have turned into adults, um, even more so and start to lay some eggs and we'll feed them on only plastic. Um, like, comment and subscribe.